Ticks. Congressman Lujan, here is an ad that your group, that you're chairing, the DCCC, ran against Republican Congressman Mike Kelly in Pennsylvania. 2010, car dealer Mike Kelly is elected to Congress, and while there, his worth increased by millions. So it's no surprise he helped give special tax breaks to car dealers like himself. But Congressman, the specific group you cite for making that report, the Center for Responsive Politics, says in fact his net worth has dropped dramatically during the time in office. It hasn't risen. Well, look, Chris, when we see our Republican colleagues voting for a tax package dubbed by the American people as a tax scam that was prioritizing corporations and the most wealthy in America over hardworking middle class families, we're going to call them out on the record. Yeah, but, but look, but to that, the that's point his of the record. That this asking, is the question, Chris, but sir, that's his record. I'm talking about his net worth, and that's a fact. Well, look, to the point of your question, I think that all committees um, and all uh, spenders out there that are investing in campaign ads across the country, that they need to be respectful of that tone. But I would agree with Steve that when we're looking at voting records, that I think that that is fair game as well, and that we need to make sure that we're uh, all looking to see how we can make sure that we're having a, a better conversation with the American people, um, whether it's the last nine days of this cycle or going into next election as well.